Always good to see arcade one-ups at Walmart, especially risers and Ms. Pac-Man. Haven't been too many of these Ms. Pac-Man classic peasant cades, peasant versions available at Walmart. There is one here. There's a Pac-Man and then the display Pac-Man. I think they did have the Mortal Kombat classic just a few days ago. Kind of wanted to touch on that with Spectate now available because you could pick up that Mortal Kombat too for $2.99. Kind of toying with the idea of picking up a Ms. Pac-Man. We see the Deluxe for $5.99. It just seems like a lot of money. Currently available at Amazon. This has been as low as I want to say like $4.19, $4.12 on Wayfair and I'm sure those sales are going to come back. But we all have that hope that the XL's coming out and the XL we're getting isn't going to be this black one. It's going to resemble the blue that we're seeing right now. It's do you pick up something or something crazy? Do you go with this? Buy the riser. You can see there's plenty of risers here. And you kind of do your own mod. You find the artwork, you put that blue on there, and then maybe we flip this around, we get a coin door, we light it up. The only thing, and, and the marquee, like we can light these up. Of course, this one's this one's plaque. I wonder. I wonder if we have to buy. I might have been wrong about that. I was thinking about the previous. We could put those LED strips in there, but I think with this, if this is solid, the Ms. Pac Man is going to be solid. Could turn into a kind of a pricey mod. I was going to get to the monitor not being recessed, like we're seeing with the Deluxe with the Pac Man XL. I could live with this, but I would definitely need that lit up. It is tempting though. I mean, standing in front of the blue Ms. Pac-Man, I mean, you know, for what it is, yeah, there'd be a lot of work. I'm tempted. The hopes of the XL is the only thing keeping me from buying it. I'm not gonna lie, kind of leaning towards the black Ms. Pac-Man, you kind of get that itch. Push this in a little bit. Kind of get that itch like, you know, you're ready for another cabinet. We're kind of playing the waiting game. Other other things like the At Games Pinball, other products, X-Men 97. You know, do you, do you pull the trigger on something right now or do we hold off? Do we hold off a little bit longer in hopes of a deluxe or an XL? But yeah, definitely good to still see those risers. Oh, and there's a clearance Batman with an Injustice comic book for $15 right around the corner from those arcade one-ups and I'm looking at some of the other collectibles over here they do have clearance cobra commander 10 bucks and for 54.96 kind of get you know the next step up the next version also turtles 3 and turtles 2 actually turtles 2 34.88 for the foot clan secret of those who could forget that that iconic vanilla ice breakdown with super shredder and Turtles 3, a movie we kind of, maybe I'm speaking for myself, but kind of want to forget about that one, but nothing beats the OG. I do have more love for Secret of the Ooze, but yeah, definitely the OG Turtles. And unfortunately, there's not arcade one-ups at every Walmart, and right here, I mean, this is, this is the beauty of this particular Walmart, just right outside of downtown Milwaukee, having this on display. Only downside, missing the ball top. You know, you're gonna see that at displays. I know that's gonna be the number one con of, you know, why we don't wanna have these out, but people come up to this. They see this, they've never seen, like you have an arcade at home, it's a home arcade. You know, it's, it's if, have you been to Walmart? Have you been to Best Buy? Have you seen this? It's something to take in. It's, it's always a pleasure to see arcade one up in stores. Oh, and finding some of those super power McFarlane's at Walmart, 997. They have Kilowog, Brainiac. It's kind of the newer, the newer edition. New edition kind of, kind of reference there. Look at the gold Superman. I haven't seen him in stores yet. Sinestro, and I think the blue, yeah, the Blue Beetle. Yeah, Sinestro. I haven't seen the yellow Sinestro. Did see the uh, the original. Blue, I'm trying to find him on the back of here. There he is. I can focus number 24. 
a little more weight with uh, Kilowog here. It's big, big figure. Kind of reminds me of Dark Side. I'm sure Dark Side probably the same, the same weight. Remember in the 80s having Dark Side just he was so much bigger. And then he had that that blue cape, and then we could stretch out. It wouldn't fit around his neck. They do have 1982, the Flash. I don't think the Flash from 1982, but for 1982, the Flash. McFarland multiverse there he is and the uh, invisible jet was somewhere over here oh, behind a kind of a prehistoric robin yeah almost missed you and Walmart really winning with the action figures Scarlet the bigger G.I. Joe figures we have Duke we have all three yeah Rakondo see all three in the back oh and look at this 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 is definitely frowned upon. Well, I have some catching up to do. I didn't know part two was out. I haven't seen part one yet. Dare I say it, guys, you're not gonna like this. I have not seen X-Men 97, so I gotta binge watch X-Men 97. I know there's one episode as recording of this video. Remaining, I think it was 10 episodes. I have to watch those. Then, I have to find Crisis on Infinity Earths part one. Watch that, then part two. It's good to see this media still at you know places like Target. Walmart because you know Best Buy isn't carrying these anymore and maybe that's why I don't see this as often we come to Walmart a lot but yeah they have a lot of great nostalgia at this Walmart arcade one-ups McFarlane superpowers plenty of DC especially the OG Batman that was kind of a long intro but I wanted to start off at Walmart gotta block the wind a little bit here for this week's Walk and Talk. Welcome, as a recording of this, Saturday, May 11th. We got a helicopter. See him up here? Get him in the shot, hold on. I don't know if that's, it is, it's the flight for life. everyone's okay welcome to this week's walk and talk as a recording of this Saturday May 11th 2024 the day before Mother's Day we're gonna cram everything in on a Saturday because tomorrow it's all about mothers I want to give wish everyone a happy Mother's Day hope you had a good time with your family your wife your sister your mother your grandma We've got a lot to talk about regarding arcade one up and a lot of other cool stuff to see in this week's episode Kohl's is looking better and better when it comes to shopping Arcade 1-Up lately. With the Kohl's cash and availability, a 2 for 25 graphic tees. Arcade 1-Up, is, it's more lucrative shopping at Kohl's right now than Hello. even Best Buy. Good morning. And you can turn that Kohl's cash into stuff like, I don't know, picking up this LED projector light, Spider-Man. And even though the Kohl's cash, even though Kohl's cash will end midnight Mother's Day, you know, another week, two weeks, they'll be back with more Kohl's cash and more sales. Fast and Furious showing up in stock at Kohl's along with Big Buck Hunter Pro Deluxe, which Best Buy is no longer carrying right now. Looks like kind of a glitch. And I want to get into some Best Buy talk. We'll, we'll stop over at Best Buy in a little bit. There's been some, uh, some glitches lately with some of their cabs. But you're seeing sales with Simpsons, Attack from Mars Pinball, and the fact that they have Golden T Deluxe for $4.99. And not just that, if you pick this up, you will get, I want to say, $100 Kohl's Cash. $100 Kohl's Cash along with the 7.5% rewards. Not a bad deal to pick this up. If you're looking for a review on this, Check out James Hates Everything. Just put a review out. And as a recording of this, he will be on Big E.D.'s live stream Sunday night. I'll have a link for that stream in the description as well. Did you need anything if you more? want some more info on the Golden Tea Deluxe. Oh, I see there's the Dunkin' Donuts right here. I think we'll stop by and get a coffee. But it's hard to pass on any of these. Thank you very much. Have a good day. I want the coffee, but... 
Yeah, was, was thinking donuts. Gotta eat right today. Maybe, maybe McDonald's though. Who doesn't like an old fashioned toy hunt? Now we're gonna do one in the next week, week and a half at Target. I've been building up those points. But because we're gonna do Target, figured we'd add Ross. Check it out, there were some clearance toys at Walmart. There was some good stuff at that Walmart we were at. Toy hunts at Ross are different because they're scattered. Every Ross is gonna be different. You're gonna find stuff that is gonna be different at every store like this. I mean, this takes you right back to being a kid along with Mickey Mouse sunglasses. Oh, with the keychain. Okay, so this was one of the, the toys at Walmart, which made me think about stopping at Ross. So clearance, $18 at Walmart, Ross, $14.99. So I always get the, they have two of them. Let's get the better deal of the two. Shop in Ross. Now does this come with an action figure? That the question of the day, let's see here. Or is it just the vehicle? If it comes with an action figure, I'm gonna pick it up. Point Dread and Talent Fighter. So does that mean, gosh darn it, what is included here? Okay, so this used to be a lot easier back in the day, but it will say here it contains one vehicle, five accessories. The accessories are not counting as the action figure. So I guess not a bad deal though. $14.99, you're getting the vehicle, you're getting kind of a set here. So if I did pick this up, I'm gonna have to get a figure to go with that because you know when I donate these, it's you know, you can't just give somebody a vehicle. You gotta have you gotta have an action figure. I want some of those DC minifigures down from seven to four ninety nine. Did see a Captain America? I, I we saw some of these the last time we did a toy hunt at Ross. I didn't see Captain America. I want to say it was seven ninety nine, two ninety. Wow, two ninety nine. Holy cow! I'm kind of debating doing a little mini toy hunt myself right now. I was gonna gonna set him right here for a second. Now we are gonna do a target because I, I've, I've been saving up my points and I just didn't get a chance to do it the last couple of weeks. We oh, have some turtles here, 11.99, Raphael, two Raphaels. And yeah, another, another frowned upon here. Like, I've seen a couple of these today. Swiped it right out of the package. Ooh, check this one out. Classic, classic Joker, I did see. Jurassic Park over here. So I was kind of thinking this is funny over here laughing behind me. Nice Jurassic Park fish, like just simple. Simple, bold, you know? Okay, okay we're gonna pick this up. I'm passing on that Captain America. The, the package kind of looked a little, a little torn up and you know, these these are, these are gifts and, and I don't wanna, I don't wanna just give some mangled package, but we're gonna pick up Point Dread and Talon Fighter. We're gonna have to match it with a figure later, but yeah, I don't wanna, I want to pass up on this deal. I mean, one cashier we got a kind of a, a Six Flags Great America line going over here. We got some Le LeBron James shorts. Do you like the the Puma shirt? Getting this. I saw the Spider Man wallet over here. Last time they had oh, it was right here. They had the kind of the comic theme. Spider Man wallet, $9.99. Plenty of good stuff at Ross. Only downside, we have another one. Only downside is how yeah, those lines can take a while, but yeah, kind of the marble that was just Spider Man, they had at all. And this is the 10, yeah. Get the marble 10. Actually came up to 16. I guess the price was off a dollar, but still a great deal. And something about Masters of the Universe, I did state a couple weeks ago that might be the, my favorite toy line. Ah, my favorite Best Buy. Gonna talk. Arcade one ups at Best Buy. What's going on? We'll talk some at games too, along with what's going on. What's 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 happening with Best Buy? You know, kind of go back in time, just talk briefly about a couple other cabinets scenarios in relate to what's been happening in the last week, week or so. At dare I say, my favorite Best Buy, right across from Mayfair Mall. Actually, I think we'll go over there next and hit that GameStop. But first, let's go over some news. Also, some big news from Nintendo. They are kind of promoting that Switch right at the entry doors here and exit. 
Yeah, we'll come inside Best Buy. Okay, just after open, I want to say it's about 10.30 Saturday morning. The place is pretty empty. To get an email from at games that Attack from Mars is available for purchase. There's such value here. I mean, you can see Star Trek, $15. You do get a couple different games. It looks like the Attack from Mars is the one game. But five bucks, it's not a bad price. Kind of goes back to, you know, starting the show out talking about Ms. Pac-Man. You know, we're at Walmart. Do you, do you give in on some of this stuff? Kind of thinking at games. Kind of thinking the ALP. I asked Big ED, I said, you know, with the spectate going on with Mortal Kombat 2, are you thinking about it? He goes, I was, but I'm saving up for ALP 4K. And I wanted to ask him, we were doing a stream in Nostalgia Power, which skin would you go with? If you, if you were going to decide right now, which one would you go with? I think mine is Star Trek. Though Adam's family is tempting. I did state before, you know, peanuts caught my eye, but you know, looking at everyone's Adam's family and seeing the buy stuff arcades, they had Star Trek. Man, it's tempting. And just leaving Kohl's, talking about Kohl's cash at Best Buy, which is, you know, such a great Best Buy to talk. All the news going on because, you know, we have this whole area up here. It's just the perfect spot. I was going to stop at a different Best Buy that we haven't been to forever, but I said, nah, let's, let's go to this one. Let's talk at games. Let's get into, you know, what's kind of been going on with Best Buy regarding Golden Tee Deluxe. People pre-ordered, it gets canceled. Problem with X-Men 97, it's showing up sold out also. I actually screenshotted this because you can't even find it on Best Buy anymore. So I don't know what's going on. It's, it's very similar to Tron, to Turtles in Time maybe going back to Golden TXL or, or T2, you know, when stuff you think is showing up, Big Buck Hunter Pro, there's there's questions. There, there's stuff going on, but you can clearly see, I mean, there's Pac-Man right here. They're still selling Arcade 1-Up at Best Buy. You're, you're seeing stuff online. It's just what the heck is going on with Golden T and X-Men 97. And a community post from James Hates Everything did state that, you know, with everything going on with Best Buy, you can still come across Golden Tee, that Wayfair, Kohl's, and it looks like the Nebraska Furniture Mart. So yeah, Kohl's, I, in my opinion, is the best place. If you're, gonna, if you're thinking pretty much any arcade one up right now because of the Kohl's cash and because of the availability, I mean, you're gonna get Golden Tee. And if you're thinking X-Men 97, I definitely go through Amazon. You can get both at Amazon, you're just gonna get that Kohl's cash. You know, if only Kohl's had X-Men 97. Still thinking about X-Men 97. I'm gonna pass on Golden T Deluxe. I'm gonna show something for the videos over on, on the XL. I just wanna compare one thing, but definitely check out Big EV's live stream with James Hates Everything. They're really going to dissect the Deluxe and who better to talk about than the gentleman who had the first review. Yeah, just beyond the entrance, they do have the casino cade marked down to $4.99. $2.99, I'm buying this. Like, I'm, I'm just throwing it out there now. $2.99, I think there was a $3.99 sale, if I'm not mistaken. I said, you know what, maybe, or, I'm, or am I thinking $4.99? I wanna say it was $3.99 somewhere. Maybe Kohl's with the, with the, with the Kohl's cash, but $2.99, I'm picking up the casino cade. I know Zero Redux was kinda lobbying buy stuff to create a bigger monitor. But don't forget, you would need that touch screen because there's a lot of games that touch. You're, you're, you're pressing the screen instead of the buttons on the uh, control deck. Class 81, Mortal Kombat 2 with the Spectate, 4.99, and those 18 and a half inch Infinity Game Boards still hanging around. I'd like to see this back down to 2.99. Also, there is a deal going on. I wonder how long this is going to last. They do have $50 off the Pac-Man Deluxe. If you received the email from Arcade went up the Mother's Day sale. We'll see if it sticks. It has been lower in the past, but it is good to see. They are giving out some deals. I guess the next one would be Father's Day next month. So depending on you know what sales you're waiting for, you might come across that in another month or so. And they do have a couple more casino cades and those NFL Blitz still hanging around just like what we thought right on the backside. 
of the Pac-Man Deluxe. Ooh, and another render of Batman. It looks like, is this supposed to be the Dark, the Dark Knight Returns? Is that kind of the jawline? Is that the Batman? I can see, you know, kind of the, the weathered Bruce Wayne or the weathered Bat, okay, the White Knight. So Batman, the White Knight, a little off on my, on my memory here of Batman. There's so many different storylines, but yeah, I haven't seen this one yet. Something fell behind, another, yeah, just another, whoop, dropping everything, another <laughs> Batman. And if you missed the posting from Garage Gamer, looks like the Nintendo World Championship Japanese version is available for pre-order on Amazon. Not sure if Best Buy is gonna carry this, but seeing all the Nintendo when we were walking in made me think of that. I don't have a Switch. Not something on my radar, but I just love that retro look. I mean, who doesn't? Oh, when they removed the price on the Infinity Game Table, the 32 inch, because it's no longer in stock. I don't know who actually anyone but Apt Electronics who's still carrying this. As far as Big Buck Hunter Pro, I don't know if these are, you know, if you order this, if it's gonna stick, I think Best Buy has sold out on these. You're gonna have to go to like Wayfair, Kohl's, or Amazon if you're looking for this. Not sure, maybe it's good, it's a good sign. We'll get more products like XLs, the next Big Buck version, but you know, we got that with Pac-Man. Only time will tell. That does remind me that Apt Electronics does carry the Arcade 1UP Golden T Deluxe also. Yeah, the, the, the uh, Nintendo. This is, let me think of, Garage Gamers posting. If you want to pick that up same day, I'm guessing it should be available. If you're in like the greater Chicagoland area, you want Golden T, you want to throw it in your car that day. Create a buzz. There's a lot of buzz going on at the mall today, which, just did a segment for Nostalgia Power on malls that are kind of dying off. This mall, fully in operation. And with the food court over there, we might opt to see actually what options are at the food court instead of going to McDonald's, because getting a little bit closer to lunch, getting hungry. But they do have a GameStop here, and I wanted to swing in. Another toy hunt would be, would be fun to do like a GameStop toy hunt. But first we're gonna do a Target toy hunt because we have all those points, but yeah, that classic elevator. And this is exactly what I was talking about. Like I was looking for these at Walmart. GameStop of all places, look, the Skull Ship, Brainiac Ship at GameStop, like. So if you're a member, you get the $18.99, otherwise $19.99. It's kind of put in the, uh, the tentacles yourself, Brainiac Chef. That is awesome. Also, the the bug. They have two Blue Beetle. I mean, this is stuff that was a Star Trek back there. This is stuff that definitely I'd want to have on a shelf somewhere. Kind of a classic render here of Batman. Did see like the lighter blue Batman? I say it was Target, but the black suit variant. Oh, look at this render of Superman. Ever followed this comic line, the Earth 2 Superman? Man, GameStop just, just winning with all these collectibles. What is this? Uh, the, uh, the OG Superman, the Christian Bale, Dark Knight. And like I said, like, okay, so Target had these to build Plastic Man. This could be an option, shopping, GameStop, to find those other pieces. And the Fright figures. Check this hat out. Get the Wolverine ears here, look at better, better shot in the light here. What a hat. More G.I. Joes, and the thing is, is I found this figure at Ross, so like, you're on a toy hunt, you're shopping. You'll never guess what you could stumble across places like Ross. TJ Maxx, like some of these could just be sitting there because, you know, once they leave, big stores like GameStop, Target, Walmart, they could show up at Ross. Ooh, and some Star Wars stuff over here, the AT-AT, and the Villainous. wonder what the choices are. I think we'll get some lunch, we'll see what they got. Right, I opted for 
the villa pizza we got cheese and pepperoni pretty much a go-to for me at a mall i mean it's good to see a food cart that actually has restaurants open like food like the last mall we were at didn't have much of anything is that tony the tiger right there got the cheese and the pepperoni now they like to warm these up when you get them they always burn my mouth so i always say please you know just i'll take it as is i don't mind lukewarm or, or cold pizza I just want to burn the top of my mouth I'm trying to keep away from the soda it's tough because i i recently picked up soda at home but i got the coffee i got a water in the car but i gotta eat the lunch time for drinking later good old tony the tiger at the mall ride the skateboard the nostalgia they're great getting out about five guys now i totally missed that like you expect them to be up in the food court might have uh might have opted for five guys must be behind me i thought that was a line for five guys oh yeah they're over there that's gonna do it for today so you're kind of getting the beethoven vibes here good old days of going to the mall on the weekend on a saturday everybody seemed to be in a good mood plenty of stuff going on in there a lot of great stores this is a thriving mall like it, it's it's unfortunate that not every mall is like this just kind of recapping that nostalgia power of you know malls from the 80s and 90s but yeah definitely definitely totally different night and day difference at this mall i want to thank everybody for watching hope you had a great mother's day i'll see you guys next time yeah you're safe to go to app too it's back golden tea deluxe will be available at kohl's at amazon and apt a couple of things I want to point out. Yeah, I do have my iArcade hat on top of my Golden T 3D XL. I haven't said XL for a while. After watching James Hates Everything's review, the deck does look. It's not going to be as wide, obviously, because this is going to be a wider cabinet than the Deluxe. Probably, I'm guessing, just under 19 inches wide. I think this is 22, 23. But I don't think you're going to have this much room from his video it looked like you know you probably get another inch inch and a half two inches of depth with this deck compared to the deluxe so just a couple minor things but yeah you're gonna get a better monitor obviously and it was hard to see on on images but it looks like you do add this one piece so from the original image it looked like this was gonna all be one piece you can see we added this to extend the deck same thing with the deluxe but yeah definitely check out james's video get everything you need to know I'll be, and the the marquee is different the marquee for the deluxe is different than you're seeing for the xl i like the xl i'm glad i have this still gonna light those coin doors up but you know it's just something about having the bigger form factor and that's why i went with this and I'm keeping that hat. Our next mod is complete. You might notice something a little different here with this monitor. It is, spoiler alert, a 19 inch. You can see Time Crisis. That's, that's coming too. You know, we put the 19 inch in Terminator 2. We, we gotta do that with Time Crisis. You can see X-Men. But there is something different about this cabinet. Not just, uh, yeah, I lit them up. But yeah, we, uh, we got a mod coming couple of days as a recording of this to get into our buy stuff arcades gaming box looking forward to this one I just love lighting those up